this is going to be the last video on the control on the use of the control panel. Basically, we've done all sorts of things. We've tra we've transitioned between sources. We've had downstream key, media players, clip playing, done hyperdecks. We've recorded on hyperdecks. Now we're going to put it all together and use the ME2 bus to produce something on screen, which we then feed to the ME1 bus. Mix that with something else on screen, so three sources playing together via ME, ME2 and ME1, and then a downstream key on top of it, and hopefully then we'll see some nice results. So, starting with ME2, we're going to start with colour bars. So I'm going to forgive the angle of the camera, so I'm going to push up my colour bars on ME2's program bus. So you can see I had over there. Uh, ME2's preview bus, I'm going to put up Media Player 1, which is still looping as you can see. And just as before, you can transition between the two with cuts and dissolves and things like that by doing that at this top level of the T-bar and the cut button, fade button, things like that. So all that's going on on the ME2 bus. So what I'm going to feed, what I'm going to do now is feed what's on that right-hand window, the ME2 program bus, I'm going to feed down to, as a source, into ME1. So you can do all sorts of stuff up here, but the result of that can come down here. And the way you do it is you put it on that button. It's ME2 program. So there's the ME1 program bus which is being fed by currently what's coming out of ME2. So if I push my cut button up here on ME2 you see the result is going to ME1. Right? If I do that there you'll get an idea. So I've got currently got ME2's output going to ME1 just as a single source, as if I'd recorded it off onto Hyperdeck 6 and I was playing it back. It's there as a single source there, which means I can do things like wipes and dissolves and all sorts of other stuff down here on ME1 without affecting what's going on in ME2. So instead of color bars, let's pull up something else. Let's pull up uh, Hyperdeck Clip. Why not? So we pull up Hyperdeck 6. It's down there. You can see it's currently uh, not doing very much because I'd recorded that clip, but it's not doing very much. So I'm going to go back to our clock, go down to Hyperdeck. We're currently on clip 8, so I'm going to go to clip 7, clip 6. There's our clock. You see Hyperdeck 6 has gone black. I'm going to set it to play. I'm going to set it to loop. So Hyperdeck 6 after 10 seconds will show a clock. Now at the moment that's just on preview, so it's just going to appear down there. It's not going to. It'll appear up here on the preview window. And at the moment it's not interacting with what's on the program bus at all. So I'm going to bring up a wipe, and I'm going to put it halfway. So that's our good old cross wipe, which is probably not the best thing. But there you go. You get the idea. So we've got the clock in the background. We've got ME2's output in the foreground, running in back, running there, playing off. Uh, uh, the media player. So there you go. That program output on the big screen up there is what we're currently seeing. And if I wanted to downstream key a graphic over the top, I can go to DSK1. And it's carrying on on one of the one of the media players that's got my graphic on it. So I'll put it on that one so you can see. Any media player two is in that bottom right hand corner window. And I want to downstream key it, so I'm going to DSK. And there you go. There's the result. So, you start off with colour bars uh, on ME2, but it's not doing anything. You can't actually see them. You can only see the media player. So on ME2, I'm going to put in a wipe, and I'm going to do a circle. How about a circle? You can see the results of a circle quite good there. There you go. So ME2 has currently got a half wipe between the circle with colour bars on it, and the playing video on Media Player 1. The result of that is going down here onto ME1's program bus. So if I click that, so that's that. That's the circle wipe and the media player coming through just that one source. That's there. I'll turn off the downstream key so you can see. On ME1 I'm going to do a half wipe with my cross wipe to something else, that particular player. And In fact I'm playing the wrong one. So home, hyperdeck, and I want clip six. And you see it's running down there on hy and hyperdeck six. It'll be running in a minute. And it's a half wipe to the clock. So hopefully we'll see the clock. There's the clock. 
and on top of it I'm going to put a downstream key. So you've actually got four video layers there in play. You've got the color bars on ME2, you've got the rolling media player 1 on ME2, you've got the clock on ME1, and you've got the downstream key. And that pretty much is the whole smash of what I want to cover with uh, this sort of material. Um, obviously there are many more in-depth things you can do, many more combinations and such like, but that's just showing you the power of mixing the ME1 bus with the ME2 bus and downstream key as well. There you go, more later. Thank <laughs> you.